And so here you'll see the appendage rotate forward and smash the limb off of this crab. Um, there it is. So this is a high speed video slowed down so you can actually see the movement because otherwise we wouldn't be able to see it. Uh, so again, this is one of the fastest movements in the animal kingdom. It generates forces that are thousands of times the body weight of the animal. The accelerations are comparable to a 22 caliber bullet. And I like to give this analogy. If a mantis shrimp were human size, and if it were to throw a baseball with the same kinematics that you see there, it would actually throw that baseball into orbit around the Earth. So an insanely <laughs> uh, powerful, impressive movement. So now let's look at this smash in real time. Here you see the animal smash this snail. And you know, it kind of flies across the tank a little bit there. But let's slow this down again, because there's something in here that you can't see unless we slow it down. So in this video, again, you'll see the uh, hammer rotate forward and smash this snail. Upon impact, you'll see a flash of light. And then a little bit later, you'll see a second flash of light. And I'll tell you what that is in a second. OK, so the appendage rotates forward, smash it. There's that flash of light. And then there's another flash of light that happens. It's going to happen right around there, right there. OK, so that is called cavitation. Basically, the appendage is moving so fast through water that it creates an area of low pressure that then forms an air bubble. When that air bubble implodes, it releases energy in the form of light and heat that's comparable to the sun. So even that is generating a really <laughs> impressive um, set of forces. And what I find to be particularly incredible is that the snail does not explode upon impact. In fact, it can take up to 80 strikes for a mantis shrimp to open a snail. So that can show you the, the selection pressure of these, of these snails on this movement. Because again, it's creating incredibly impressive forces, and yet the snail is pretty much intact. 